this whole month I feel like I've been only watching stuff with Viola Davis in it but then again it could just be me shall we begin let's begin now. hey what's up internet my name is Nikki and today I will be doing a book versus movie review on The Help by Catherine Stockett. The story revolves around three point of views during the segregation era in 1960 Mississippi, during the time during the Civil Rights Movement. We follow our main characters, Abilene Clark and Minnie Jackson, who work as housemates during the segregation era, and they never actually expressed how they felt working for these white families who basically they're segregated from, who don't actually share anything from grocery stores, bathrooms, or any sort of that. Until one day, Skeeter Feeling comes home after graduating from college with a journalism degree. At home she doesn't really feel herself anymore due to the fact that her maid and the person who raised her constantly has left without any word of telling her where she went or why she just left. So Skeeter decides that maybe it's a time to leave her small town home in Mississippi. But the first thing she has to do is she has to actually have some credit with journalism, something that she's actually written. With a little help of someone that she admires, another journalist, she decides to get a job at the journal where she gets a job writing a column about how housekeeping. As Feeling has never actually cleaned a day in her life, she decides to ask help from Abilene, who is a maid of one of her best friends. She starts to get close and then Abilene tells her that one day that her son wanted to write a book about what it was to be colored in, in 1960s Mississippi. Skeeter gets the idea that he was onto something, saying that maybe that she could write a book telling the story of the maids who worked there in her small town in Mississippi, getting the word out that these maids are not just maids, they're actual real people during this intense time during the civil rights movement. So it unfolds with her trying to get this book done, trying to get the side of these maids, and trying to figure out is she doing the right thing by telling the story of these maids in danger of what might the consequences be if people found out that they were talking about the people they work for. What did I think of the story? I absolutely liked it. I read through this book quite quickly. I really enjoyed it during the time era of how I was different and just working for a different family but trying to take care of your own life as well, especially with your kids and knowing that you are taking care of someone else's children while your children are being watched by someone else. It's really interesting to see how that works and especially during the civil rights movement and how and just the fear of these three women trying to tell their story and just fearing of what might actually happen if anybody ever finds out what they're doing. I really enjoy the book but there's some things that kind of throw me off. Um, I don't really want to say what it is because I feel like it kind of spoils what the book is but there's some things kind of go against each other and then also there's some things that kind of kind of throw me off because I'm like I'm pretty sure they couldn't do that back then but then again it is fiction I I just found out that this book wasn't actually based on a true story but what Catherine Stockett has heard over the years because she herself grew up in Mississippi with a maid who actually raised her and she based off these little stories and then she just build on them and made the story because she had it in her head of what it would be to be a maid in the 1960s. But something that is true from the book is that Catherine Stockett actually based off Minnie Jackson to a, the actor Tavia Spencer who ironically enough actually plays Minnie Jackson in the movie and also does the voice of Minnie Jackson in the audiobook. Getting into the movie versus the book. What did I think of the movie overall is that I really enjoyed it. I think the movie really did a, did a really great job depicting the book itself. The whole idea of what it was like to be a maid in 1960s Mississippi and then whole how these women are trying to write this book during this time and they're also trying to keep it a secret from the people who they work for. They did a really amazing job especially the actors Viola Davis who plays Abilene Clark, Tavia Spencer who plays Minnie Jackson and Emma Stone who plays. I wouldn't really expect to put those act together but they work so well. If you're really into something that is kind of heartwarming mean and a lot of a uh, girl power kind of situation and I said just to pick up the help or watch the movie because they're really both good especially the actor choice for the movie was phenomenal I highly recommend the movie but but talking about which one book versus movie of obviously the book one the movie was good in and itself but obviously there's a lot of things missing especially the whole Minnie Jackson story there's like a lot more to it and I wish they put a little more to it but then again the story isn't just about Minnie Jackson it's about all three of them and their different personalities coming into 
to to make this book but obviously I like the book like I said it has more information it tells you more in depth of who these women are and then you just feel it so tell me what, if you read the book tell me what you thought or if you read the movie tell me what you thought which one did you prefer better if you see if you've done both give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed if you want to see more please subscribe if not that's cool I try to upload Monday Wednesdays or Fridays and I'll catch you later Whoop out.